Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following us for a while, you saw that uh, we recently got a water bag, a 65 gallon bag to use to fill the RV while we're boondocking. And I was using that today and when I filled the RV, I had some issue with the uh, water valve that I connect to on side of the RV. Our RV has the Anderson Can't Leak 200 four-way selector valve and I had a little issue with it so I'm going to show you guys today how you can pull it apart and repair it yourselves without taking the entire valve out so stay with me. This is my Anderson Can't Leak water valve. You may be wondering, how would I know if a repair is needed on this valve? Three symptoms that I've experienced personally. Um, one is this handle gets increasingly harder to turn. And when I first had an issue with this about, I don't know, almost three years ago when I first bought the RV, it got to the point where I couldn't even hardly turn this from one to the other. The second symptom that I've experienced is having it in the down position for city uh, hooked up in an RV park and it would actually back feed and fill up the tank and this is the tank position so it was bypassing internally and filling up the tank. And the third symptom that I've experienced is after filling the RV, um, I put this back in normal to be able to run the water pump. And I noticed that it was sucking air in here and it was actually strong enough that it was pulling this check valve open and it was sucking air in. And of course the lines inside the house were all full of air and we couldn't really get any pressure. So those are the three symptoms I've experienced with this uh, valve. There may be more and feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know if you've experienced uh, different symptoms um, indicating that the valve needed to be checked. Uh, but that's what I've experienced so far. The repair of this valve is relatively easy. The majority of the valve is actually behind this wall. So this is, you know, of course the handle and the selector, but behind the wall um, pictured here is the actual valve body. At first glance, you might think, okay, well the valve is bad. I've got to replace the entire valve. Well, the cool thing about this valve is it actually has a replaceable cartridge that contains the O-rings and the seals and that allows the selector to, to operate properly. Before you begin this repair, make sure to turn off your hot water heater, turn off your water pump, and of course, if you're connected in an RV park, make sure you turn off the water supply. Then open a nearby faucet and release the pressure. The actual repair of this is fairly straightforward. Step one is you wanna remove the handle. Pull this handle off. There is a set screw just here. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. that screw that I removed. And then all you really have to do is simply push in on this ring and it's recess, there's a spring, push in, turn to the left and it will come out just like that. And then there's a spring you need to remove right here. Remove the spring. And then there's this little washer inside uh, which may be a little difficult to get to but I like to actually take a little magnet and you can extract this little clip. It's actually a washer um, with indentions on it that this is what causes the clicks when you turn the selector valve. So once you've removed that clip, you can simply replace the handle. We'll go ahead and put the screw back in it. All right, grab this and twist and pull. There you go, and there's the cartridge. Now what will happen with these, and the reason these become really hard to turn, this rubber seat right here will actually slip out of its position and it'll get kind of wedged on the edge there and that'll prevent this from turning. If it gets um, smushed too bad, then it'll bypass and that's what'll cause you know, your air in the lines and the sort of symptoms I've described. Replacing this cartridge is relatively simple. You're gonna get a new cartridge when you order the part 
and it's going to come with all the o-rings on it like you see here and it's going to be packed in this this super lube so you're simply going to remove it from the packaging you're going to place your handle onto the new cartridge and you're going to make sure that the point of the handle is on the side where this blank or this non-hole is and then after you do that you're simply going to insert this in twist and seat it all the way in and make sure that you stop with your handle in the same position it was when you removed it we're going to re remove the handle again we're going to replace the little click washer and one important note there's a little groove just here there's a groove and you make sure that little key on this washer slides in that groove just like that you see the key is in the groove we're going to replace the spring then we're going to replace this brass piece and you line up the ears with the slots push in turn to the right clockwise we'll simply replace the set screw you're going to get a new set screw when you order the part Okay, set screw installed. Then we're simply gonna replace our handle. And that's it, and you're done. Now you'll be able to turn it and you'll hear it click in all four positions, just like that. So the next obvious question is where do you source these parts? I scoured some online forums and I think on the Heartland owners forum I found a link to this website. Um, this is Abco RV and it's part of the Anderson Brass Company. If you scroll down here you can see that they show the uh, manifolds like the one I have is the one here on the left. These are back ordered um, so I don't know if you can get the whole manifold or not. But if you click shop all this will give you the individual parts. And here is the cartridge and the valve itself if you need to replace that. They also have the water fill uh, with the check valve installed. I keep this cartridge on hand as a spare because it seems like every couple years I have an issue with these with these little rubber seats I'm getting messed up. Jones and the Travel is not at all affiliated with this website. I just wanted to show you where I was able to find the parts. They may be available elsewhere. I didn't have much luck finding them um, other than this website. So hopefully this was helpful. If you need uh, these parts, uh, this is a great place to source them. All right, well, there you go. Another project in the books. Thanks for checking out the video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And leave a comment below and let me know your experience with the Anderson Cant Leak. Um, I'm curious to know if uh, others are having the same issues I'm having. If you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. We really appreciate your support. And until next time, safe travels. Bye.